I'm making this video because this is something that I couldn't find on the internet. I'm sure you read the thumbnail. We're talking about logbook entries today. And before we begin, my name is Niles Afned. I'm a current student at NEA New England. Um, I have a GPA over a 99%. And if you find any value in this, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing more videos to help AMT students like you and me. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna be talking about a free logbook entry card that I made for reminders when you're doing your logbooks. So to begin, Every logbook entry must be clear, permanent, and complete. The goal is to create a legal record that documents what work was done, when, and by whom. Key parts of a proper entry are the date when the work was performed, aircraft info, the tail number, the make, the model, and the total time of cycles if required. Description of work performed, specific and concise, reference manuals or data used. A return to service statement that certifies that the aircraft is airworthy or the task was performed in accordance with FAA regulations. And lastly, your signature, your certification number, and your type. Type as in your certification. Now here's a maintenance logbook entry example. Date, August 24th, 2025. Aircraft, November 327, Papa November. Cessna 172 Sierra. Tack time, 5,321 hours. Work performed. Move and replace right magneto in accordance with Cessna 172 Sierra maintenance manual. Chapter. 740000 conducted engine run up check operations normal and then your return to service statement aircraft returned to service in accordance with 14 CFR part 43 appendix A and then your signature your type rating and your AMP number and like i said before i made this uh, logbook entry reminder card um and it's pretty much card sized. I, I keep this in my wallet um, and it includes just some things that are specific to different logbook entries. Um, and I found it really helpful. I made it for myself, but I ended up printing some for my classmates and I made the PDF so you can print it out yourself if you'd like. Um, I went through this and checked with a couple different uh, instructors at my school to make sure this was good quality content. And as students, this is very accurate. In the field, I don't know exactly what it's gonna be like because I'm not in the field. And they were saying it's a little different in the field as well. But as students, this is very good information. So you can print it out and copy it if you'd like. I laminated mine, um, if you could see that. And to close out, here's some tips that I actually wrote on the back. Um, be specific about the location you're working on in your logbook entries. So you heard in the example, it said write Magneto. You don't wanna say Magneto. Also, never use whiteout when you're trying to erase or cross something out. Do a one solid line right through um, whatever you're Xing out. Be as specific as possible. Try not to be wordy in your logbook entries. You want to keep a limited amount of space, so you don't want to use too much. I hope this was helpful. Happy studying.